set for regulation. Like a rosy, dusty color? No, that's just what it faded to. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> just right down the middle. Oh. Easy one. Just a one and done? She's easy. I like, I mean, this will be the best lid. Style over. Bleach your hair now. <laughs> like, once it starts, like, since it's this long, bleach it then. Then you won't have to go through all this. There you go. Because you won't miss this. <laughs> Yeah, I was, I guess, blessed with thick hair. Right. Sometimes it doesn't feel like a blessing. <laughs> no, no, I got a lot too, but holy moly. All right, here we go. Just a one and done. Are you ready, my friend? Right. Hang on. Oh, All right. Grab a chunk. Yeah. As I attack you with my cord. And uh I'm gonna do it to the side to the back. I think you're done. I'm just kidding. Bye bye. That'd be really easy if I made so many leaves like that. But I'm not me. Everyone, I'm not me. <laughs> I'm just a messenger. They just make me do the mean stuff. Oh my god. <laughs> so how are you feeling right now? <laughs> ah. Fine. Mm -hmm. It's different. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be different. But it was the happiest hair ever. Does your family know about this? Ah, my husband knows that I'm getting it cut. He doesn't know how short. It's my favorite story. I'm telling you, we need when you guys go home, like to record the husband, wife, girlfriend, parents. My mom reaction. and my grandmother probably aren't going to be happy about it, and I'm going to see them tomorrow, but. Do they live in town? No, they live up in Ely. Which oh. is like, yeah. Evil Nevada. One time I drove through Ely. I had a stop in a, you know, a gas station bathroom. And I found it really interesting that there was a hypodermic needle disposal thing. And it was like, basically, we know you're going to shoot up in our 7 Eleven bathroom, so please throw your needles away here. <laughs> I was like, Somewhere. Making sure you don't get pricked when you're taking out the trash. It's so weird. Oh, this could be like. This could be like a sweet color. <laughs> <laughs> Can you People live in Ely. It's in the middle of nowhere. There's nothing but a prison. <laughs> yeah, there's really not much there. There's tons of snow, which sounds awful to me. Yeah, it gets down in like the negatives also. Yeah, no. Mm -mm. I lived there for a while. Actually, that's where we were living at. We just moved down here in March. <laughs> oh, okay. I mean, you do get blistering hot, but I'll take this over snow any freaking day. I like snow, but when it's like negative 20 degrees outside, that's not very pleasant. You can't even go outside. If you blink and your eyes are frozen. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds awful. Oh my god, that's just crazy. How long did you live there? From September of 2013 until... Till now? Yep. I lived in, like, outside of Ely before that, though, for a while. Like, right outside of Reno, or...? No, like, 45 minutes west of Ely. <laughs> what is that? 
that like peach? <laughs> no, that's that's a more southern. No, um, uh, I was living with my grandparents out on a ranch off of the highway, pretty much in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Or as my land. Yep, as my grandfather called it, the edge of the middle of nowhere. Okay. Because their other farm, he said, was in the middle of nowhere. Oh, oh so do they farm? Oh, they used to. Now they're just kind of, like, somebody owns it. He is, actually owns a crane company down here, Dillman. Oh. And, um, he owns the ranch, and he's friends with my grandparents, so. Oh, cool. They're just kind of living on his land, I guess. I mean, that's kind of neat to have that, like, in your family, to come to land, you know? Oh my god. This looks like a cheetah. <laughs> a, a cheetah with ridiculously long hair. black and then you know all your rainbow colors you got going on there. Is definitely a different sensation. Yeah, when, when the wind hits it, when all the things happen. Am I foiling her?
have to entertain myself and I'm going to start because I hate this part. <laughs> involved in this part, but I just don't like it. <laughs> and I just want to walk through a crime scene when I'm done with all you guys. Like, so mess with them. I don't think any of you guys would be intimidated, but I just really cause some chaos. <laughs> Not this year. Oh, good. <laughs> if the girl that left before you, in her best friend's wedding in two months, I'm like, oh, you're not going to be very happy with you. <laughs> The easiest way to get healthy hair is to clear it all up. So honestly, if you want to be blonde, if the second it starts growing out of your head, lighten it then. Because then all you'll ever have to do are like little teeny roots, which will make your life so much easier. That's my advice. Don't let it get really long before you want to bleach it. Then you just have all that hair to deal with again.